Mesdames, nous sommes en, <coughs> dans le studio. <clears throat> Mossman Season 3 Shot whatever Okay Working the clapper board with one hand I want to get the clap sound Yes It's like a crocodile Hello I'm a crocodile Hello What's your name? My name is Mr. Clapperboard Clapperboard Season three. There we go. Look what I found in the Deschetterie. The Deschetterie is like the recycle centre. If you say it in a Suffolk accent, you see, you get get down the Deschetterie today. Get rid of me. You get me. So you get rid of your at the Deschetterie. Okay. This is uh, my gloves. My gloves have been hard at work, but today we're not doing any of that. We are having a little fun. Let me play orchard golf. Look what else I found. I found on the barn. Ready for the title fight. Ready for the title fight. I get my three wood. I'm not actually going to be ready for the title fight at all, but I might be half, not half bad at swinging a golf club around. Okay, let's see if I can set this shot up, okay? And then we'll do a little bit of extreme sports. Okay, can you see? You can see. animal's digestive system only gets about 20% of that and then our digestive system only gets about 5% of that or 2% of that, whatever it is. It's diminishing returns. said this before I'm gonna say it again I love everybody right I have a lot of friends in America but America's gonna get really upset when the when when it hits the fan when we realize we can't afford this as a planet the rich will keep on being rich and the poor will keep on. but there will be a tipping point you know where the distribution is all relying on is, is reliant on, on petrol fossil fuels when that tipping point comes, you know, when we can't actually distribute the food fast enough and we can't sustain the beef production and stuff because there just isn't enough arable land or whatever. What am I trying to say here? America's going to really suffer it because America is a country that really likes their steaks. I know, I've had one. 
and I couldn't believe it. The, the steak came on one plate, and the vegetables and the chips and stuff came on another plate. I've, I've not seen that before. And the steak was like three inches thick, and it was it was it was as big as the plate, you know. No human being can eat that much in one meal. And then bless some of my fellow Americans. Forgive me for saying this, but there's some of them could use a little exercise. So eating a steak like that is not going to help. They're going to have a heart attack and die. So you see television documentaries where people are getting lifted out of the building with a crane because they're morbidly obese. Uh, that's a sign of a sick society. And it's not just America. We're all at it. All over the world. Greed and corruption. I'm being quite gracious there, I think, but feelings. The point is, we need to get wise to ourselves, you know, this can't go on like this. So, <clears throat> I'll tell you a joke. Lighten the mood. This fella from Texas comes to Ireland and uh, he says, uh, hello Paddy. And Paddy says, hello Jack, whatever his name is, from Texas, the fella. And he says, I'll get into the accent now. He says, uh, Hey there, Patty. Gonna show me around. Show me your, uh, show me your country, you know? So Patty says, oh, that's all right, sir. Uh, come on, I'll take you around. Get into the car. Is that your car? Back home in Texas, the car is three times as big as that. Patty says, oh, is that right? Yeah. Are you comfy? Sit yourself down. I'll take you around the, the, the feeds. Oh, there's a little chit chat over there. Do you want to see the chit chat? Or do you want to hear the rest of the joke? So they start talking about this and that, and every time they're talking about it, the Texan with the big hat says, uh, Oh, back home in Texas, ours are five times the size of that. Eventually, they get to the size of the potatoes, and the Texan says, Patty, you seriously eat these potatoes? These potatoes are tiny, man. Back home in Texas, we got potatoes 10 times the size of that. Paddy quietly mutters to himself, well, see here, home in Ireland, we grow the potatoes to fit the size of our mouths. And I was, I was wet myself at that when I was little, because when you're little, you're really impressed by stuff like that, like little wisdoms, you know. Ah. And there's a lot of people saying a lot worse. Let's face it. Do you want to see the lizard? Come on, see the lizard. He's climbing up a tree. Come on, come on, come on. Mr. Chit Chat, can you come say hello to the camera? Can you come and say hello? Where'd he go? Can you see him? See, there's a bird's nest in the tree there. I'm working on nettles. I put the bird's nest there, and now I think the lizard is making it his house. The bird's nest was an old nest that fell out of another tree and it was just an ancient one, it was just an old one that had been lying around. And I thought that was quite cute, you know, but no birdies were there, so fortunately no birds abandoned the nest and no little chicks were left without a mummy. Because if you touch a bird's nest, the birds won't come back. It's touched by human hands, there's a smell, there's an odour, there's a pheromone. That tells them, that, you know, predator or whatever, and um, they'll just abandon the nest and then the chicks will starve and die.